talking about how to recycle the right way. Okay, now, there are two types of recycling. One is wishful recycling and the other is smart recycling. So what is wishful recycling? Well, wishful recycling is when people throw something like this or this, which still has food in it, or something that you can't recycle, like this, will it, will all go into the landfill. So wishful recycling is when people just wish that something would be recycled, but it actually doesn't happen. And things that they want to recycle just end up in the landfill. So now let's talk about smart recycling, which you smart people should be doing. So smart recycling is when we wash clean and dry stuff that we know is going to be recycled and will not go in the landfill. But you don't have to throw these stuff into the recycling bin. You can use them to store stuff if you like. But you're free to put them in the recycling bin. It's definitely going to be recycled in this clean state. And oh my, it's so clean I can see you. Why should we do smart recycling and not wishful recycling? And why is it important for the planet and you? So especially things like plastic, they will go into the landfills if we don't do smart recycling and they will turn into microplastics eventually and these microplastics will get into the water we drink, the food we eat and the air we breathe and will definitely harm us. To stop microplastics from getting into the environment and into our bodies, we have to recycle the smart way. That, that is, wash, clean, dry and recycle. The next thing is about these tins and glass bottles and why we should recycle them really well. Tins are made out of metal and to make metal you need to mine and to mine it takes a lot of energy you need to burn fossil fuels to get energy to mine this tin and other tins as well burning a lot of fossil fuels to make millions of tins like this causes global warming and then climate change the same applies for these if we don't recycle these, then more of these will be made and will cause global warming. So, smart recycling is very important. So, these guys can be turned back into new peanut butter jars mac and macaroni cheese tins. And new ones would not have to be made or mined. So, let's see what we've got here. Well, we've got a big yoghurt pot with, with a paper covering and we've got three plastic yoghurt pots over here then we've got two metal cans and we've got two glass jars So the first thing that we're going to be talking about is this yoghurt pot now normally what we would do is we would eat all the yoghurt up then we would see the back and it says recycle so we just put it in the recycling bin but as you can see inside the yoghurt pot there's still bits of yoghurt st stuck on the outsides of the pot on the sides here so it can't be recycled because it's still got food in it so many many recycling centers won't recycle this pot and it will just go into the landfill why won't the recycling center recycle this well i will tell you why because there's food in it and we put it in the recycling bin that means bacteria and germs grow inside it and then go on to the other things that are inside the recycling bin and that means that they all can't be recycled including this yoghurt pot and they have to all be put into the landfill 
So, how do we recycle something like this? Well, first of all, if it does have a little piece of paper wrapped around it, then you have to rip the paper off, as you can see as I'm doing here. Oopsie, <laughs> it's a bit hard. Now here you are with two separate things. They can both be recycled. This is clear plastic, so it can be recycled. And this, of course, is paper, so it can be recycled. And then we wash the inside of the plastic pot. Oh, and, then and after you've washed it, don't forget to dry it before you bin it. The same applies for these three. And these tins, as you can see, they need to be washed and dried as well. And also these, they are glass, but you can wash them and dry them. You can throw them in the recycling bin if you like, or you can use them for other things. So let's go and do smart recycling, because it is important for the planet, for me, and for you, because in that way, we can stop microplastic pollution and climate change. Thank you for watching and remember, smart recycling. Bye. See you soon.